I, I will say something, by the way, because it's so funny that you wanted to talk today about in and out and oh 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 because i've been reading online about fat because you know i don't eat fast food i think the last fast food i ate was probably an in and out burger. burger but outside of in and out the last fast food i had jacob Wolf, 25 years ago probably probably a whopper when we were kids no the last fast thought food i had getting, thought about getting one today by the way outside of in and out the last fast food i had was at your fourth birthday party i had some mcdonald's fries oh Okay. I haven't had McDonald's in almost a year. But I have been looking. I saw a graphic about how expensive fast food is becoming. Brother, ridiculous. How, I'm gonna tell, do you know why? No. It's because I don't, I think it's because, because in, like this is what I, because uh, we like a place called Rubio's, which is a taco spot here. Yeah. And <laughs> Matt, can, there's a, there's a graphic that you, uh, I, I know why. I sent to me. Can you put the graphic up so we can re reference the... Uh, uh, I can tell you why. No, it's not why. It's the prices. I can tell you why the prices have gone up. Yeah, I'm uh, waiting. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah well, that's what I'm getting. No, I, I know. I just uh, wanted to show the example. Yeah. And so uh, when we were at Rubio's, there's a there's a woman who's there. She's cashier. Uh, I, uh, she's super nice. We're uh, like, really like going there. She's a super good person, whatever. And she, I was like, hey, I went in there, I think this past week. And I was like, oh, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. She goes, yeah, they, uh, they cut our hours. Everybody's hours. I was like, why? She goes, well, since California, California raised their minimum wage to $20 an hour and for chain restaurants. So right. Rubio's is a chain. Okay. So when, when Rubio's in LA or in California, they now have to pay their employees 20 an hour. They have to raise now the prices of the stuff on the menu to keep making money. It's straight up inflation, dude. dude it's a hundred and twenty two percent increase in the quarter pounder with cheese in a, meal. In, in a decade. That means you have to pay. Your, yeah, 10 years later, you are paying twice as much for your colon cancer. Dude, by the way, I that the one that makes me the most mad on this one yeah. is the McChicken. McChickens were on the dollar menu for the longest time. How dare you take that shit from us? That is bullshit. Can I tell you something else? Two McChickens for two bucks? Bro, that McChicken easy. Might be the single worst fast food restaurant sandwich. Look at that piece of shit. Dog, that meat chicken's better than a Whopper. Get the fuck out of here. Eat dicks. Whoppers are trash. Anything, eat, anything at Burger King is trash. Eat dicks. Look at this. Anything at Wendy's, trash. Who the fuck wants a square burger? Yeah, I'm out on Get the fuck out of here. You know I'm out on Wendy's, garbage. Arby's, garbage. Burger King, Arby's garbage. isn't really meat. I fast saw, food, I, like saw fast I saw food. a video where they add water. To to whatever it is that makes their meat, bro. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah. Dude, look, look, look at this. Uh, what it kills me is honestly, as we look at this, is anything on the McDonald's menu being seven dollars and fifty cents blows my mind. Yeah, mostly because of how I grew up. Thirty nine cent burger, twenty nine cent hamburger. I fucking wish, right? Oh my god, a seven. There is nothing at McDonald's. Like well, I should walk out of there total with my drink for under seven dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Look at this shit, dude. No, no, a hundred percent. With and the that, McChicken, dude, there is a two hundred percent increase dude, since the end of two thousand nineteen. That's bro, that I know it's fun because it's because but, minimum wages go. It's yeah, inflation. The, they're raising this, the rate they have because. The, the chains are like, well, I get it, dude. Yeah. Uh, don't get mad at me. I'm just fucking explaining it to you. You ask why, I'm telling you why. But why they got to be so greedy, man? Like they're making a gazillion dollars. And just because you got to pay your employee more so they can fucking live like humans. Yeah. You're asking, and by the way, what you're doing is you're asking the demographic, which is a lower income, income demographic. demographic. 100%. So you are, you are, you are giving. More, but you're taking from the same community. 100%. It's and such a dick move. I, I 100% agree. 100%. Yeah, I, I think it's... Yo, guys. I think it's bullshit. Small businesses. Yeah, fuck yeah. Small Mama businesses. Places, baby. Small... Fuck these people. Yeah, 100%. Let me tell you right now, fuck all of these people. Yeah. Fuck all of these people because they don't give one single shit about you. No. Not only are they feeding you straight poison, and it is straight poison. It is. But they are not... Passing the savings along to you. No. Yo, they are that McChicken or McPigeon or whatever you want to call it. McDelicious. It is a McDick, is what it is. McDelicious. 
I love McChickens. Do you shout, really? out, shout out my boy Evan Stevens, bro. Every time we went to McDonald's, it was two McChickens, a medium fry, and a drink for $7. That was the fucking deal. Well, now that's not happening. No, nah, it's fucking not, which is ridiculous. If I get two McChickens, I'm already at nine bucks with tax. Like, what the fuck are we doing? Well, can we go back to this fast food thing real quick? So we're yes, talking about In-N-Out. Yes, yeah. Yo, so I'm not going to go back to this graph. I just want to. So I had an In-N-Out burger today, and I was just craving a burger. And uh, and here in Vegas, like we do have In-N-Outs. We have uh, Freddy's, which is like a smash burger, which is overly expensive. Holy shit! The one thing, like I grew up in LA, In-N-Out is was a staple. That's that's like if I wanted a burger, going to In-N-Out. Best thing about it, In-N-Out. Always. They've always paid their workers great wages. Yeah. You, your managers can make six figures a year. Don't they have insurance too? Dude, benefits, yeah. all this shit. How in and out is run, great. Their prices have never changed. I went in and got a double cheeseburger. I just wanted to, I just wanted the cheese and the meat. I didn't want the lettuce and the onion and tomato. I just wanted the, the, the bun, the meat, the cheese, and the spread. I got a fucking... <laughs> Sounds so dirty. Bun, meat, cheese, and spread? Spread between the buns. With the meat? Oh, yeah. Leaving the cheese? All over. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you eye contact me when you said all over? Hey, man, you made it weird in the first place, so... Uh, that was as creepy as we've gotten here on this podcast. To make it weirder. Uh, uh, here's the thing. I walked out of there, spent $7.40 for a burger and fries. And drink? No, I didn't get a drink. Didn't want a drink. Because I had a drink in the car. Okay. But so, look. Here's the thing, though. If we went to In-N-Out and we got double-double meals with yeah. a drink, fries, all that, I'm spending less than... Because I think she didn't count it as a meal. I think right. she charged them separately, mm -hmm. which is why it was seven forty or eight forty, or whatever it was. But if you and I wanted to go get In-N-Out right now, and we both got a double-double or a meal or whatever it is, we're spending under $17 for food that is good. Like yeah. that, yeah. it's not shitty. But I'm going to say this. 10 out of 10 times, any day of the week... I'm taking Whataburger over in and out And I'm going to say that dead ass into the camera. Hold on one second. Uh, uh. Yeah, for sure. Whatever. Whataburger, Whataburger, over in and out 100%. I'm, I'm, Do I think in and out is overhyped? No, it's still delicious. It's greatly, it's, Whataburger is expensive as shit. So I, that's the only thing that I'll say. I honestly, Whataburger, double patty melt. Those, what that motherfucker is better then I will take that over an in and out burger. I can't remember. Any day. I can't remember Whataburger. The last time I had Whataburger, the last time I had it, I was driving back from spring break in Texas mm. and I pulled into the, and I had taken ecstasy five nights in a row and my brain wasn't working and I shit orange and I wiped my butt with my socks and I walked out of the bathroom. That yeah. was the last time I've ever been in a Whataburger. Hilarious. Now, <laughs> well, there's, a, there's a 24 For some reason, I flushed my underwear down the toilet. Interesting. There's a 24-hour Whataburger on the strip now. Yeah, that's 24 hours. I'm not going to be there. Uh, if, if, I, honestly, if, I think I'm going to go there next week. Yo, know, I'm telling like 100%, 100%, 100%. In and out well, is the only, I'll do that, uh, what do you call it? Protein style. Yeah, yeah. And no fries, which is a bummer. But I'm not going to lie. Their fries have been lacking recently. Hey, if you like this podcast you just watched, you're going to love the one I'm popping up in your face right now. Check it out.